a little bit nervous. <laughs> That's all right. That's Don't all right. be. That's all right. I want you to think about Jesus on the cross while we sing this. All right. Amen. You know, Jesus was a hard man to kill. Amen. Amen. Oh, yes. I'm fully persuaded that not even the cross killed Jesus. Right. Jesus bled out. Amen. Uh -huh. That's power in the name of Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. His stripes has healed us of every disease. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Freed us from every addiction. Come on. Yeah. Oh, yes. God. Thank you, Jesus. He's just an amazing, loving God. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. 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 There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power yes. in the name of Jesus. Come on, brother. Yes. Yes. There is power in the name of Jesus. Yes. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain.
me. Don't quit me. Hallelujah. Because I might, I, I might give up. But I'm really very gentle. Ain't I? Ain't I? Really very gentle. Amen. Hallelujah. But um, uh, it's the Spirit of God. Yes. It's the Spirit of God. Come on. And I just, uh, I just feel led tonight to say this. That um, jumping and shouting and clapping and hollering. Uh oh. Ooh, I'm about to get myself a hole right here in the first five minutes. <laughs> uh, does not, Brother Lamar, does not define where you're at in God. Right. Amen. That's, That's right. 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 Yeah. That's right. Come on, get on board with me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to get some of you a way out because uh, you think that I'm kind of weird here. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. But I want you. I, I, I want to share with you tonight that it, 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 just because we act different, Amen, does not define where we're at with God. Right. I personally can't hardly help myself when I start here. talking about my God. Yes. I personally can't yes. hardly help myself. Yes. Understand? Yes. Amen. Because when I start thinking about the goodness of my oh, God, yeah. when I start thinking, I didn't wake up in yes. hell this yes. morning. Yes. 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 Yes, 
Yes, it has. Somebody say amen. Amen. The shift has already started. Yes. It's not gonna. That's right. It's not hoping to. It's already begun. Let me help you with something tonight. The shift, amen, means change. Oh. Yeah. Uh oh. In direction. Yes. Come on. Yeah. In the shift, you get new direction. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. In the shift, come on, I'm trying to help come somebody. Yeah. In the shift, you get momentum. Oh, that's yeah. good. Yes. Yeah. That's good. To be elevated to another. Dilemma or dimension oh, oh, oh. or level <laughs> in God. Yeah. I remember when I'm gonna age myself. <laughs> oh, maybe I won't. <laughs> yeah, I probably will. Uh, don't try to figure me out. Um, but I remember when I was first learning to drive a car, and I learned to drive on a 1959 El Camino. It was an old car. <laughs> it was a hand key. It sounds good. <laughs> and it was, um, my dad called it a three on the tree. Yep. Oh, <laughs> My same age. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, uh, so he took me out and he was teaching me how to drive. And uh, he said, now over there on the left hand side is a little bitty button. That little bitty button is called the dimmer switch. <laughs> okay, now you're trying to figure out how old I am. <laughs> it was an old car. And um, the next pedal is the clutch. And after the clutch, you have the brake. Okay, I pretty well understood the brake. <laughs> and I kind of was figuring out the dimmer switch. Yeah. But the next thing was the accelerator. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, he said, what I want you to do is I want you to push in on the clutch. I'm like, okay. No problem. I pushed in on the clutch. And he said, I want you to gently push the accelerator. Yeah. While you gently <laughs> ease out on the clutch. I said, okay, here we go. It wasn't a good idea. And so uh, I, I, I was real anxious to drive. I was real anxious to drive. And so I gave it a little bit more juice than I should have. Uh, I mean, it was kind of like one of them. Things, you know, and he said you have to let out on the clutch, or you're not going nowhere. Right, right. Mm. That'll break. Somebody stay online with me. Come on. <laughs> if you don't let off the clutch, you're gonna stay right there. Yeah. And he said I want you to gently ease up, ease up off the clutch. Well, I eased off the clutch. <laughs> A little too fast. <laughs> and I looked over at my dad, and my dad was going, huh? <laughs> And uh, this most amazing thing, bless his heart, he, he just had a lot of tenacity. So after we got him out of the chiropractor's office, he, <laughs> said, he said, I think we better try this again. <laughs>
of the clutch and the acceleration. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Right. Right. Come on. Had to understand that in order to get momentum, yes. I had to be able to shift Come on. into the next gear. Right. Yes. Yeah. Can't get no help tonight. Come on. Yeah. 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 And in order to shift to the next gear, it required learning how to use the clutch at the right time huh? and how to accelerate so much at the right time yeah. in order for me to get the shift. Come if on. I wanted to get to where I was going, I had to shift three times. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three. Yeah. Did you have one of them too? Yep. <laughs> New best friend. Um, in order for me to, 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 to be able to get out of the driveway, yes. I had to learn the process by which I could go forward. <laughs> so tonight, I want to show you something that there is a process that has already been set in motion yes. where we are getting direction yeah. Come on. and we are getting momentum yes. yeah. Come on, yes. to get to the next level or the next dimension of God yes. that God is calling us to. Hallelujah. Yes. There are some that will stay in Granny Lowe. Uh-oh. <laughs> there were some, there are some, amen, Pastor, that may stay in first gear. Right. There are some that may stop with salvation. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. There are some that may stop with sanctification. Come on. There are some that may shift into the third gear. Uh-oh. Yeah. Amen. And then stop when they feel like their momentum has leveled out. Do you like me yet? Come on. <laughs> when they feel like their momentum has leveled out, amen, they may get comfortable there. Yes. Amen. And get eased mm. with being at that particular altitude. Or yes. But there are some Come on. under the sound of my voice tonight. Yes. Please don't judge me because I get loud. I'm not angry. <laughs> I love you. Amen. Amen. But when I start thinking about how good my God has been yes. to me, when yes. I start thinking, amen, hallelujah, about where God, where I could have been tonight, yes. and where yes. God's got me tonight, I can't help but get loud. It's yes. not because I'm angry. Thank it's not because I'm upset. It's because there's something yes. burning down in my spirit. Yes. And when I get excited, I can't help but get loud. I'm yes. sorry yes. if I'm offended. Yes. Amen. 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 
Come on. You've got to work with God. Yes. Corinthians, Paul said we are laborers together yes. with him. Yes. If we're not working with him, uh -oh. Oh. I'm going to go a step farther. We're working against it. Yeah. Come on. You're either for us or you're against it. Right. And if we're not cooperating with God, then there's a good chance we're working against it. Well, I just like being in the middle of the road. Bless your little happy heart. It don't work like that. No, it don't. No, it don't. Yeah. Yeah. I've been in the middle of the road for a long time. <laughs> I stopped at a stoplight the other day. I come to the stoplight. It was a T in the road. You either had to go left or you had to go right. Yeah. The person in front of me was right in the middle of the road. I'm like, what is up with this person? And I mean, it was fancy car. It was Mercedes Benz. <laughs> I'm like, here I am in my little Nissan. That guy up there, he's probably a doctor or a lawyer or a dentist or something. But you don't know where he's going. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm like, I know where I got to go. Move over and let me go around. <laughs> Come on now, amen. You might need to tell somebody that's been standing in your way. You better move out the Come way. On. So, you've got to work the change. Hallelujah. God gave me this this afternoon. Hallelujah. You've got to work with the change, amen, yes. that God is incorporating into our lives, uh -huh. amen, right now. Because let me help you out. Because where you are right now, Some of you may be in the best place you have ever been. Amen. But it ain't good enough. Come on, sir. Come on. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Tell it. Wow, I'm giving you some good spots to say. Tell it. <laughs> some of you might be in the, uh, uh, you, you, your kids are all saved and the roof is fixed and your bathtub ain't leaking or your pipes froze. <laughs> 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 you don't want to know my story, brother. <laughs> I come in the other, the other day. I turned on the water spigot. <laughs> really from Missouri. <laughs> and uh, faucet. I turned on the faucet and nothing came out. Right. I said, Jesus! <laughs> and still nothing come out <laughs> and so I went to the basement well I waddled to the basement <laughs> and uh, the pilot was out on my furnace I live in an old house and an older house kind of meshed together and the older house <laughs> is where the pipes were <laughs> And so I text my son and I said, I don't know what I'm going to do. And I know he could tell the, the uh, I knew, he, he, he just knew the urgency in my text. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got no water. Come on. My pipes are froze. Uh -oh. The furnace is out. Yeah. And I ain't got no man. <laughs> <laughs> He texts me back and he said, Mom! Exclamation point. <laughs> Ooh, he's trying to get my attention. Yep. <laughs> you don't need a man. And I'm like, I talked to you when you were little, but I promise you I never hit your head. <laughs> he said, You don't need a man. All you need is some heat. <laughs> Give me 
some vice grips, turn that thing off. Man, they took, I mean, everything I had, turn that valve off. He said, turn it back on. Push it down. Man, I smelled gas. It was gas. I mean, I knew, I knew gas one turned off because I smelled gas. And so I got this thing, this lighter thing, and I shoved it down in there. Nothing happened. I'm like, Heavenly Father, I better turn this thing back up or I'm going to blow my whole house up. <laughs> He's said, oh, maybe you better read the directions. Let me help you understand something tonight. Some of you will not make it in the ship because you have not read the directions. Some of you, oh, come on, don't sit on me. Some of you will not make it, amen, to the elevation or the leveling God that God wants to take you to, amen, because you're satisfied with no man. You're satisfied with no help. You're, come on now, amen, you're satisfied where you're at, amen, and as long as you are in a place of satisfaction, you'll never get to the place that God's got for you. As long as you're complacent, amen, about where you currently are. Right. Right. You'll miss the shift. Yes. Wow. Amen. Amen. When you are driving down the freeway, or what do you call it down here? Interstate, highway. whatever, highway. <laughs> the four lane. <laughs> it's a road. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the road. When you're driving down the road. When you're driving down the road. And, um, It seems like this is the season that they're working on everything. They're working on everything. It's like every few miles. It says, road work ahead. And you get up there a little further, and you see these arrows that say, left lane closed. That's my lane. <laughs> Woo. And um, then you get a little closer, and you see these things that are usually orange and white. And they have these little round things on them that are, I think, solar powered. Yeah, yeah they are. Yeah. Are they? Thank you, Sam. Amen. I just made that up. <laughs> but, but, uh, they really are solar power. And so when you come up on those things, if the solar has powered them, they're going to alert you to stay out of the fast lane. Right. Because it's closed. Right. If the solar has powered them, y'all ain't going to get on board with me tonight. Come on. Come on. This is a good preacher right here. If the solar has powered them, amen, then they're going to notify you that this lane is closed and you have to shift yes. to the other lane. Yes. My God, can I show you something tonight? That when the sun of God shines on you, there's going to be a shift. Oh, yeah. Mercedes-Benz. Just move. 
Yeah. <laughs> one Make a decision, one way or the other. <laughs> Either you're going left or you're going right. You can't go forward because it's a dead end. Right. <laughs> <laughs> when <laughs> no matter what part of your life you're in, oh Jesus, help, I've already preached three minutes. Turn your watch off. <laughs> good, good, good. I have to wear one because sometimes I chase rabbits and then you know, I get way back home. The pastor ain't got no clock up here. So. Uh, but look, you may be in the best day of your life. Yeah. Or you may be in the worst day of your life. But if you don't hear anything else I say, I want you to hear this tonight. No matter where you're at in your life, it's not going to last forever. Come on. Yeah. Whether it's the best day or whether it's the worst day, it. it's not going to last forever. Come because on. where you now are, amen, spiritually, it's not going to be good enough, amen, for what you'll be faced with tomorrow. Yeah. Where to uh, 2 Kings chapter 2, I think. Some of you have been in situations, maybe life-threatening situations. Maybe you've never been where I've been. But you might have been in uh, some places. I apologize for touching you so much, man of God, but I'm pulling off of you. Amen. But some of you may be, Sister Alloway's, in, 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 in life situations. Uh, hallelujah. That, 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 that you don't know, or, or you didn't know at the time how it was going to pan out. You Come didn't on. know uh, uh, the first time I ever got robbed in Dallas, Texas. I didn't know if I was going to come out alive. I didn't know if them boys that broke in, men, that broke into my hotel room, I didn't know if they had guns. I didn't know if they was going to kill me. I didn't know what their agenda was. So the best thing I could do was grab their little nappy head and throw them into the wall and say, in the name of Jesus, have you met God? Come on. <laughs> Because by the time we got done with the afterglow and the fellowship and, you know, all that stuff, it was about 1.30 in the morning. So we're driving through the forest, and I looked ahead, and there was like a sack of trash ahead. And I said, watch out for that trash ahead. Well, the closer we got to the trash, it took on the form of a man. It wasn't trash at all. It was a person. Yeah. That person had been sitting in the road waiting on somebody to come by. Oh boy. Oh boy. So here we come by. And she starts to slow down, and I'm like, Martha, keep on going. She said, Well, he, 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 he needs something. I said, Martha, accelerate. <laughs> Go. <laughs> she said, well, we 
just can't leave him out here in the middle of nowhere. It's plain to see that he's in distress. I don't like Martha. Don't go there. All the time, she's pulling on the side of the road. Great woman of faith that I am. She pulled off the side of the road, and I had electric windows in my van. And this man came to my side <laughs> of the van. <coughs> and Martha rolled down my window. <laughs> I'm like, don't roll it all the way down. <coughs> Too late. She got to roll the plunge to the floor. <laughs> and so he started to lean in my window. So, you know, I, I, I'm a woman of faith, and, you know, and so I just took my elbow and kind of went like this and locked the door. <laughs> he leaned in, and I'm like, oh, great. He's got wrong motives. He said, that's right, young lady, you better lock that door. I'm like, oh, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. We are in trouble. She said... What's the problem? I'm like, we don't care. Just move. And uh, he said, well, I'm out of gas. And I need a ride to Aurora. To, I'm like, they ain't nothing open in Aurora at this time of the night. They roll up the streets at 6 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> ain't no gas station open. <laughs> and Martha said, yeah, we'll give you a ride. I said, no, we won't. <laughs> she said, yeah, we're going to give you a ride. I'm like, he's going to kill us. I just knew it. <coughs> and uh, she said, yeah, we'll give you a ride. So he crawled into my van. And he sat, guess where? Behind you. Behind you. On my side. <laughs> and so I started having sweet fellowship with the windshield. I kind of turned myself sideways in the seat so I could keep my eye on him. Because I figured he had his pistol hidden in his hoop. <laughs> <laughs> or his Uzi or whatever it was. It was you. <laughs> and so he was real chatty, and I was like, oh, this is not good. He's building up for the big end. We were in the forest. He could have dumped us out there in the forest, and nobody would have found us for 14 days. Nobody would have even known we were missing. He said, what's two beautiful girls? I'm like, we ain't that pretty. <laughs> <laughs> like, you do it out here at this time of the night in the middle of these woods. And I'm like, we're going to Nashville to see our husbands. We don't need the one of us. <laughs> but there might have been some wannabes, so I didn't really lie. Yeah, there might have been some wannabe husbands. <laughs> I said, what are you doing? And I said, we're preachers. And I figured that right there would be enough for him to say, stop this van and let me out. <laughs> but he didn't. He said, preachers. I said, we talk in tongues. <laughs> place for the exodus, you know what I mean? It, it's like the perfect place for him to say, I'm out of here, I can walk the rest of the way. But he didn't. Huh. And the more he chatted, the more I thought, he ain't got no gas can, he ain't got no milk jug, he ain't got no mop and doo bottle, he ain't got no Pickled Oprah jug. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have nothing to put his gas in. Right. Mm. And I sure didn't. I'm like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> We're going to get up there to that gas station. It's going to be closed. Yeah. And I thought, well, maybe we'll dribble a, leak, a little bit out of each hose. <laughs> Six drops here and 12 drops there. Maybe we'll get getting going. But what are we going to put it in? And I'm like, this is all the more reason for me to know that we wasn't coming out of that alive. Because if he really needed gas, 
He should have had some kind of a cane. He didn't even have a pop can. <laughs> what in the world did he think he was going to put his gas in? Right. Mm -hmm. Right. So we get to Aurora, and just like I prophesied, <laughs> everything was closed. <laughs> everything was closed. So I said to Martha, I said, just pull in right here at this service station. A little end more. So she pulled into the service station, and, and <laughs> she kind of looked at me with that stupefied look, like, what are we going to do now? I'm like, we're going. We're leaving. We got this. <laughs> and Mike said, we can't just leave him here. I'm like, we're leaving him here. <laughs> we got to go. And uh, about that time, the police pulled in. I'm like, oh, thank you. Thank you. The police opened up the, the back of his car, and he got out some kind of a jug. And I don't know how he had any, any uh, operation to the, the gas pumps, but he did. And he got, got some gas out of the pumps, and I'm like, okay, let's go, Martha. She said, oh, well, what are we going to do? I said, the cops are going to take him back to his car. So we told the cops where his car was, and he said, that's not my jurisdiction. Oh. I'm like, Shirley, you just, you can't be for real. He said, oh, no, I can't go that way because I'd be out of my jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So he said, you're going to have to take him back when you find me. I'm like, Mark, we ain't taking him back. Surely he's got a brother or aunt or uncle or cousin or something here that, that can take him back. He said, um, I'm not from around here. Oh, really? See, just what I told you. He's from around here. He's stopping two women in the middle of them. He's going to kill us. <laughs> so we get him back to the car. And he puts the gas in the gas tank. And I'm like, Martha, go. Martha said, well, we got to make sure that he gets it going. And I'm like, we don't care. She said, we can't just leave him out there. I'm like, he was out there by himself before we got here. He's okay. She said, well, we got to make sure he gets it started. So he put the gas in the thing, and he got in the seat, and it didn't start. So he lifted up the hood, and I'm like, oh, Jesus. Jesus, he's got the gun hit under the hood. He is going to kill us. Just go, Martha, go, accelerate. She said, we got to make sure if he puts some in the carburetor. Who said that? Carburetor, yeah. I'm like, he's a man. He knows what to do. Put it in the carburetor. He knows what to do. He's a man. She said, we can't just leave him out here. We got to make sure the car starts. Right. I'm like, let's just give him the $4.12 and go on. <laughs> and so he put the stuff in that carburetor or whatever he was doing he gets back in the driver's seat and it cranked and I'm like okay can we go now yeah. she said yeah let's go so she started ever so easily pulling out I'm like Mash the gas. We got to get out of here. So while she was mashing the gas, not very aggressively, he jumps out of the driver's seat and he comes running to the van and he's going like this. I'm like, get out of here, Martha. He forgot to kill us. Get out of here. He forgot to kill us.
wild hogs or whatever they got. <laughs> <laughs> he leaned in the window and I'm like, here it comes. I don't see the Uzi, but I bet you he's got he's got a machete or something. He's gonna whip it out any time and he's gonna stick me with it. <laughs> and uh he said, he reached out his hand. And in my mind, I'm thinking, oh, he's going to blow us all up. <laughs> he don't care. His life don't mean nothing. Mine sure don't. <laughs> so he reached out his hand, and I thought, well, I'm going to this deep. So I shook hands with him, and I promise you this is the truth. In his hand, he had 11 $20 bills. And he said, I want you to have this because I'm a backslidden Nazarene preacher. Oh. <laughs> and I haven't paid my tithe in a very long time. And he said, I want you to have this for your kindness that you showed to me. Oh. <laughs> I felt like an idiot. <laughs> but what I'm telling you tonight is that some of you have been in situations where you did not know if you were going to make it out or not. Some of you have made your, maybe you're currently in a situation that you don't know. Amen. You, you don't want to have a nervous breakdown, but you're in that moment where you're not too sure Come even on. what's going on. But I'm telling you, God has already begun the shift. And if you'll move with the shift yes. of the anointing of God. Come on. Yes. Are you in 2 Kings chapter 2? Yes. yes. Verse uh, 4. And Elisha, I mean, Elijah said unto Elisha, Tarry here, I pray thee, for the Lord has sent me to Jericho. And he said, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. So they came to Jericho. Six. And Elijah said unto him, Tarry, I pray thee here, for the Lord has sent me to Jordan. And he said, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. And they too went on. Eight. And Elijah took his mantle and wrapped it together and smote the waters, and they were divided hither and thither, so that they too went over on dry ground. Watch. Let me show you something here tonight. Hallelujah. If you follow a flop, uh oh. Come on. Good preaching! <laughs> if you follow a mess, yes. you're going to be a mess. Come on. Yeah. Right. Come on. Yeah. If you follow somebody or something that has no vision, amen, to build you up and to take you into a place of God that you have never been, a place that you have never seen before, if you follow after, amen, the leadership of God, hallelujah, that will pull you up to where they are. Come on. Yes. Come on. Yes. 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 Then you're part of the shift. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. Come on. Yes. If you're under a good man or woman of God that's leading you. Yes. Amen. And pulling you. Yes. And helping you shift. Come on. You're going to go somewhere. That's right. Amen. That's right. But if you choose, look at, look at, I'm going to probably make somebody mad. But I know people. I know people that do their Sunday uh -oh. worship mm -hmm. in front of the TV. Uh -oh. I know people, man of God, that instead of getting up and going to the house of God, they may at best sit around the table having coffee and donuts. <laughs> well, <I'm not> <laughs> At best, they're sitting around their own table. They're having coffee. And they may be reading the scripture and trying to interpret scripture by themselves. 
Right, mm -hmm. right. But if you're sitting under that kind of a situation, let me tell you something, you're going to flop, and you're going to flop bad. That's right. <coughs> That's right. Preach it. I'm not here with friends and influence people. I'm trying to help you. Amen. Because I want you to see tonight, amen, the, the necessity, amen, of being under right leadership so you can come to the next level in God, come on. so you can grow in God. When you're under a good man or woman of God, they're not going to let you stay where you've been for the last 40 years. Oh, right. They're going to pull you up. Come on now. Come on. They're going to pull you up. Amen. Into the shift that God is moving in. That's right. Amen. Now. That's right. Amen. Am I helping anybody? Yes. Amen. So watch this. Amen. I am personally not focused on where I've been. Come on, come on. I'm focusing on where I'm going. That's yes. it. That's right. That's right. Amen. I'm not focusing on the things that have been accomplished over the last however many years of my ministry, the Word of God. I'm not focused on that. My focus is following, amen, after God who can help me, help somebody, and yeah. then get yeah. to the next place in God. Amen. You might have been through the fire. You might have been through the flood. Come on, somebody. Come on. But while you're going through that, you've been being stretched because yeah. God is enlarging your territory. Oh, yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. While God is enlarging your territory, if you don't allow him, you'll miss the ship. Right. Come right. on. Right. Hallelujah. In the shift is where you get your momentum. Yes. In the shift is where you get your traction to go farther. Amen. 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 That's it. In the shift. Come on. Amen. It's where you get more. Yes. Amen. In order for you to get in to what your tomorrow holds. Am right. I helping anybody? That's right. And so if we will prepare ourselves, amen, because in the shift, amen, there is a change of direction. In the shift, there is a change in the momentum. Amen. Come on. And when you when you come to those reflectors, mm -hmm. yes, yes, the men and women of God that you sit under as as your leader mm -hmm. yeah. are the reflectors oh. that the S O N. Come on, yeah, yeah. 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 come on, yeah. that the yeah. Son of God. Yeah. has recharged yeah. and charged yeah. and charged yeah. so that yeah. you can see and know that there's a shift ahead. Oh, yeah. Something is about to break up. Something is about to let go. Yeah. Something yeah. is changing. Yeah. Come on now. And will your leadership has allowed the Son of God to shine on them, yes. then you are ready for the next level in God. Mm -hmm. Then you are ready. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Preach it. <laughs> Probably not going to like me for saying this, but I'm here to get you to like me. <coughs> but it comes with a price. Right. Yeah. Right. Yes, it does. Come on. It comes with a price. I know people that want the anointing, but they don't want to pay the price. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Oh. I, I, I know people that, that, that uh, 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 they want to hang on, <laughs> but they know they got to let go. Right. Right. And so they're hanging on and letting go at the same time. You know what that, that means? You're in a rut. Right. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. 
Yes. You're in a rut. Amen. And so watch this. If you're connected to a man or woman of God that is moving in God, you better stay with them. And you better keep your focus. Come, Come on, on now. Come on. Yeah. You better keep your focus. Amen. Because let me tell you something. When God wants to give you revelation, amen, you can't have a bunch of mess around. I'm fixing to get in somebody's business. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You can't have a bunch of mess around you. When you're fixing, amen, to get momentum in the spirit. Who am I here for tonight? Yeah. When you're ready for momentum in the spirit, you can't afford to just have a bunch of junk. Right. 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 Some of you are no farther along than you are because you've got anybody and anything yes. Come on. Come on. Yeah. latched on to you. Yes. You got all kinds of stuff that's hung on to you. Barnacles uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. that will slow you down yes. from where God's trying to take you. Yep. Yeah. Amen. 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 But if you're following a man or woman of God that's got their momentum going, yeah. come on, yeah. Yeah. then their momentum, amen, will help you get into the place. Yes. yes, yes. Read verse 9 again. 9, we didn't. We didn't read 9? Uh, read 8 and 9. And Elijah took his mantle. No, just 8. And Elijah took his mantle and wrapped it together, smote the waters, and they were divided hither and thither, so that they too went over on dry ground. Watch. Just two lines. The 50 sons of the prophets. Yep. Stood on the bank. Come on. Watching them That's right. get across the, come on, come on. the very thing that had hindered the whole army from yes. going forward. Come on. And they too yes. walked across yes. on dry land. Amen. Yes. While the 50 sons of the prophets stood by. Amen. Never getting across Jordan. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Come on. Some people are just going to sit around and watch you. Uh oh. Right. Yeah. But they'll never enter in. Right. Right. Yeah. Yes. They've gone as far as they want to go. That's it. It's not that they can't. Right. You yes. see, the 50 sons of the prophets could have gone with Elijah and Elisha. Yes. They could have. Yes. yes. But there was a price to pay. Uh-oh. Sometimes people come to me and they say, they say, Sharon, I don't know how you do what you do. And I'm like, I just do it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> They're like, you drive all them miles by yourself? <laughs> yeah. Been broke back on the side of the road by myself. <laughs> Scared. <laughs> but I have my four brothers sitting in the seat beside me, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, so that I gave a little bit of comfort. Yeah, amen. 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 Yes. I do what I do is because I'm not satisfied with where I was last year. I'm not happy with what God, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable with what God did. Amen. But I want to see him do more. More. Amen. Yeah. More. Yes. Amen. more. more. Yes. I'm ready. Amen. I'm ready to see the signs, the wonders, and the miracles uh, introduced yeah, back yeah, into yeah, the yeah. house Come of God. Yeah. I'm ready to see the supernatural. Oh, yeah. I'm ready to see the rain begin to fall yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ready, amen, for the unusual. Yeah. I'm ready for the awakening. Yeah. I'm ready. Yeah, man. Amen. Yeah, man. Oh, God. I gotta wind this up. I'm gonna land this plane somewhere. <laughs> they too went across. On dry land. Yeah. But read verse 10 for me real quick. <laughs> and he said, Thou No, verse 9. Verse 9. Verse and, 9. And it came to pass when they were gone over that Elijah said unto Elisha, Ask what I shall do for thee before I be taken away from thee. And Wait a minute. Is that all of that one? <coughs> Go ahead. And Elisha said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. Now. The story shifts. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now there's a change in direction. Mm -hmm. Now, after 
after the previous times when Elijah said, you better wait here because you ain't going to be able to handle this. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to Bethel and it ain't going to be pretty. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, I'm going on to Jericho and you can't handle it. Right. Aren't you glad tonight that you sit under pastors and teachers and that are trying to bring you up yeah, instead on. of push you down? Yeah. Oh my God, I keep getting a bit of help. Yeah. Yeah. Aren't you glad, my God, that yeah. you sit under men and women of God that want you to grow and accelerate in the kingdom of God? Yeah. It wasn't yeah. that Elijah didn't yeah. want Elisha to go, but he knew it was going to be a hard thing. Yeah. He knew that the transition, even that was about to take place, was not going to be conducive to his flesh. Right. But nevertheless, yes. Elisha said, let me have a double portion. Yes. Mm. Yes. Conversation changed. Because yes. before Elisha said, oh no, I ain't leaving. Right. I'm going where you go. Right. Now, he said, what do you want from me? Elisha said, I want a double portion. Yep. God. Wow. And Elijah said, Son, you ain't got a clue what you ask. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes people come along to me, Brother Dan, and, and, and they'll tell me that, that I'm just like my dad. None of you knew my dad except Dan. <laughs> my dad was a powerful man of God. And I think to myself, if I could be a small fraction of the man of God that my dad was, I would feel very accomplished. Yep. And maybe Elisha was thinking, if I could be a fraction of what Elijah is. Yeah. But that's not what he said. Mm -mm. No. He said, I want double what you got. Double. <laughs> I want twice as much as you yeah. got. Yeah. And Elijah said, did your mother drop you on your head because you've got some serious brain damage going on here? <laughs> you asked the hard thing. Yes, yes. Right. Nevertheless, yeah. if you see me when I go, that's it. Come on. You can have it. Yep. If you see me, as I go up, <coughs> the only way he was going to see was he had to stay focused. That's right. That's right. Yes, 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 yes. I'm preaching better than I ever have. <laughs> he had to stay focused on where his leader uh -oh. was taking him. Right, right. All the way home. <laughs> we ain't never done it like this before. It don't mean it's not God. Come on. Come on. Amen. If you are not changing, you are not moving. Come on. And if you're not moving, you're not living. And right. if you're not living, you dead, my ball. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Come on. So we have to be willing, yeah. amen, yeah. to stay focused yes. on where God's taken us. That's it. Yeah. If you see me when I go, yeah. come on. That's it. We get off focus with our kids. Yeah. Don't make me get in your business. Yeah. We get off focus with our jobs. Yeah. Yeah. We get off focus with our houses. Yeah. We get off focus with our careers. Yeah. Yeah. Get off focus with our enemies. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Come on. Uh -oh. We get off focus with gossipers. Yep. Come on. Yeah, yeah. And as long as you're focused on that stuff, yep. you're going to miss the shift. That's right. That's right. As long as you stay focused <laughs> on what's going on around you, yeah. you won't make your elevation. Right. Don't get happy. I'm giving you the truth tonight. Preach it. Amen. Amen. And what Elijah was really saying, if you don't hear anything else I say, hear this. What Elijah was saying to Elisha, I'm going to talk to you because I think you're getting it. He said, if you see me when I go, that is to 
saved. Now we know Elijah did not die. Come on. Right. right. Come, Come on. on. There's no scriptural reference nope. that he died. Nope. And so what Elijah was speaking to the one he was mentoring. Mm -hmm. You can't mentor somebody that won't be mentored. Right. Oh. Uh -oh. That's a whole other message. I've preached yeah. six messages here. Yeah. And they're all still with me. I think. I think. Yeah. <laughs> if you see me when I go, then you can have what you've asked for. Then you get a double portion. If you see me when I go. But what Elijah was saying is you have to see me in my completed form. You can no longer see me as a man, but now you've got to see me in my completed form. Because when I'm caught up, I'm taking on another form. I'm taking y'all just, y'all just yeah. Yeah. I'm taking on amen, a, 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 a dimension. And so if you see me when I go, you're seeing me. Amen. It's God yeah. wants me to be. Yes. If you see me when I go. Yeah. Hallelujah. Don't miss. Come on. Don't miss what God's doing because you have an old mindset. Right. <coughs> right. right. Don't miss what God's doing. Because you never did it this way before. Yeah. yeah. Get right in the middle of it. Yeah. Right. And know that God's trying to bring you up. Know that God is elevating you to another place in Him. Oh, yeah. Another place in Him, man of God. Hallelujah. Because if God can elevate us, amen, to the next place place in him. That means that we're growing. If we're not incidentally the Lord said hallelujah that the the, uh, the uh, accident that you had, the situation was meant to take your very life. But God said that you were not ready to meet your maker and so therefore it did not happen. Amen. Because God gave you another chance. But let me tell you something tonight my friend. God said don't exhaust. Don't exhaust what God has done for you. Don't minimize what God has done for you because there is yet more that God is going to do. There is yet more in that, that God has yeah. got in store for you. I don't know where you are in your walk with God, but I want to tell you tonight, uh, be ready to grow and be ready to be pulled up from where you've been yeah. because where yeah. you've been, though it may have been okay, is not good enough for what's ahead of you. Uh, you've got to be willing to grow in you like me at Okay, okay. I'll love you. Is this your husband? Can I give him a hug? I'll give you one too. Amen. Amen. But you've got to be willing to grow. Amen. And allow God to fashion you or mold you. Amen. Into the person that he wants you to be. Amen. So that you can be effective in the kingdom of God. Does that make any sense to you? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Somebody Amen. say thank you, Jesus. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. If you see me, you see you, 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 you see me as Sister Sharon. Or hey you or <laughs> Butterball. Or whatever. I used to be offended by that. I'll never be the only one I know they made the Hallelujah. Amen. But when your leader steps into position, come on. They are no longer. Nick and Dan. Mm -hmm. right. Right. Preach it. Yeah. When they step in to the pulpit and they take their position, mm -hmm. you can't look at them as the men that they are. Yes. You have to look at them. Are you, are you a pastor, a preacher? They, 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 they can't look at you, amen, as, as somebody that they go eat Big Macs with. You have to not only look 
at them as the men of God that they are. But when they step into the anointing and they step behind the pulpit, they take on, oh, Jesus. Come on. Yeah. they take on the likeness of God in a different kind of way. Yeah. And if you see them, when they go into that echelon of the power of God, then you can have a double portion. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Preach it. So if you looking at him like Nick and Dan, <laughs> you're going to miss it. Yeah. Because what you're missing is the reflector. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. That's good. You think I'm in trouble yet? No. Okay. <laughs> I better ask the pastor. <laughs> Am I in trouble yet? No. You're missing the reflector of God that they emulate. So you have to see, amen. Yeah, but, 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 yeah, but, 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 you know, you know, hot pepper over there, I, I was, I, I was over at his house the other day, and he said a bad word. <laughs> Not really, I'm just picking on him because I can. <laughs> I think. <laughs> he said, I don't think he's fit to teach. Uh -huh. I don't think he's fit for nothing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> you because you're not looking at him in his completed form. Hey, and you look at us as men and women. Come on. But when we are standing in front of you to take you to the next level in God, we take on a different form. Oh, yeah. We take Or our 
children. It's real hard to see the end of that thing because you're too close. Yeah. I texted my middle son Wednesday and he was on his way to Wisconsin to hear his baby brother preach. I miscalculated the other day when I told the people over at Yazoo City. Is that really where Yazoo City? There were 16, there's 16 people in my little family, but there's really only 12 of us. I don't know where I got 16. I counted me three or four times. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> but there's 12 people in my immediate family. I have three sons. Two of them have wives, and they all have children. And me. So there's 12 of us. On Wednesday night, <coughs> out of 12 people, 10 were in church. Yeah. Glory yeah. to God. Yeah. Come on now. The Bible said rejoice with them that rejoice with them. Rejoice in front of the Lord. Amen. Because my babies and my babies' babies were in the house of God. Hallelujah. And my son texted me back and he said, Mom, Take me as long as it took you. <laughs> I'm like, let me help you, little man. You was the one that held it up. <laughs> Come on now. Amen. It didn't have to take that long, but you was the runner. Come on. Let me help you see this tonight. You've got to see it in its completed form. Yeah. You can't see what you see with your natural eye. Come on. You've got to see with your spiritual eye. Yeah. You've got to see it yeah. already yeah. done. Yeah. Yeah. something, honey? Yeah. I've never seen you before, have I? No. But behold, I, the Lord, would say unto you this night, there's a change in circumstances, saith God. And I speak unto you that that which at one time hurt, that which at one time brought tears, that which at one time appeared to be destruction. I say unto you this night, I see it in its completed form. Come on. I see that what once was a hindrance, what once looked like you weren't going to make it through alive. God said now he's revealing his plan. Yes. Now he's revealing the very thing. And I, 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 I don't know you, but I know that you were designated by God. Come on. And called by God for ministry. You're not just called, but the Spirit of the Lord says you were chosen. Yes. There have been some things that have gone upside down. Now, I'm not telling you you have to get up, stand behind the pulpit, and act like me, and scream, and holler, and spit on me, and try to spit in How you guys got your back for a week? I get close enough to hit one of them. Uh, but you don't have to be like me. All you have to do is be like God. Right. right. The Lord said, do not fear where I'm taking you. Because I'm taking you out of what would have been a dilemma, and I'm causing something good to come from it. I'm taking you out of disastrous situations, yeah. and I'm turning it around where I can be glorified. And I'm going to place you in the place where you can be most beneficial to my kingdom, saith the Lord. I speak unto you this night that even in your house things are turning around. Even in the place that you reside, I am already working a work that you can't see with your natural yeah. eye. But I say unto you this night, see it in its completed yeah. form. Yeah. See it as though it has already happened. Oh. And act on yeah. it as though it has already happened. Because as sure as you give in, amen, to the death sentence, as sure as you give in, amen, to, 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 to the lies of the enemy, amen, it'll hit Lord said, see it in its completion. Yes. 
Amen. 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 My personal belief is that Elisha would have never done twice as much as Elijah did if he hadn't have looked at Elijah yes. as he went. Yeah. If you see me when I go, come on. Then you can have it. Come on. Which kind of tells me if you don't see me, you probably won't get it. So, in other words, Elijah was saying to Elisha, Got to stay focused. That's it. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of stuff around you. The 50 sons of the prophets that are back there on the bank, they didn't want to pay the price. So you know what? Don't worry about them. You've got to keep your eye on me. Right. You know, it's too late to worry about them. They made their choice. They made their decision. They could have went across on dry ground with us, but they chose not to. Come Amen. On. They fell by the wayside. Yeah. But I'm talking to you, Elisha, and I'm telling you, Elisha, that if you stay focused and you see me when I go, yeah. you're going to yeah. get it. That's it. Yeah. God said, you're going to get it. Stay focused. Hallelujah. God said he's going to give you a literal vision yes. from God. Thank Hallelujah. You, Jesus. That is you, going Jesus. to show you revelation of them being in the, and it'll be a vision from God because it ain't something you can dream up. Right. You can dream up an idea. You can dream up a thought. You can you can you can you can you can see it in your mind, but that's that's the fleshly part. But when you see the vision, it's as though it is right there and you can touch it. You yeah. can feel it. Hallelujah. And the Lord said said, when you see that vision or have that dream, God said, you're going to know that it's close. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And I wouldn't be surprised come on. if it doesn't come when you're in your tractor or whatever it is you get into. Tractor. <laughs> I hope you're not dreaming when you're in <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if you don't get the vision from God because that's a place of solitude for you. Because when you're in that tractor, you don't have a lot of distractions to choke out the voice of God. And you can hear God better when you're in that tractor. And I would not be surprised if you don't get that vision 
And I say unto you this night, fear shall be far from you, saith the Lord. For I speak unto you, the enemy has come to kill you and to steal from you and to invalidate what I have done. He has come to surround you and engulf you with fear. But I speak unto you tonight, have no more fear, because fear has torment. Yes, yes. come on. And God said, no longer be tormented with fear, because I have got this, saith the Lord. This is by my design, saith yeah. God. Yeah. It's my hand. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. The Lord said, no longer be tormented with fear, my friend. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know that in the natural. I don't know that. And nobody's told me that, but I know it in the spirit. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. You pastor at the Assembly of God Church, correct? You have no idea how many prayers I've prayed for you and your wife. Come on. You, 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 I don't know your name, but I know I've seen you before. And I've spoken to Pastor Nick a couple times on the phone. How is that preacher from the Assembly of God Church? And uh, I think I called you one time and got his phone number, didn't I? And, yeah. and I called you, did I call you? Amen. But there's been many times since then that you've been on my heart. And uh, God has put it on me to pray for you. Because you see, when God brings somebody before me, I don't take that lightly. I don't minimize what God's doing because right. my mind don't work Amen. like that. Come on. Amen. Come on. When God brings somebody before me, there's usually a reason. That's yes. right. Yeah. Amen. Not just because I had a fleeting thought. Right. You know? Amen. Right. And there have been many times, not that I seek any uh, 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 glory for, uh, for praying for you. I'm not, I'm not after that. I'm not looking for that. I don't expect that. But what I want you to know is that what has, uh, what has uh, been this part of your journey, you haven't gone alone. And I know you know that, you, that God's with you. I know you know that. But I want you to also know that there are some literal people Come on. that are tangible and have a heartbeat that are with you, my friend. Amen. Yes. That are with you. And I want you to know this. Hallelujah. <clears throat> that if there was a need or if it was just time for you to receive a blessing from God. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to know what was going on, and most of the time I didn't. Amen. But God, hallelujah, has people that intervene and intercede for you. Yes. Amen. Before the throne of God. Because you know what? I don't see you as a man. I see you in your completed form. I see you in the fashion that God sees you in. And so therefore, I might just get a double yeah. portion yeah. of Lord. what you've got. Therefore, I might just receive <coughs> from you a double portion of what God has invested in you. What God has Come empowered on. you with. Yeah. I just might be a part. Oh, For I, the Lord, would say unto you, both of you, you are my called vessels. I have set a path for you to follow. I will bless you, I will make a way, and I will bring abundant harvest to the seeds you have sown. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo! Glory. 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 Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. 
Oh. My brother back there in the back, I think she, that's your brother or your sister? The brother. Have you been teaching? <laughs> I mean, oh. <laughs> in a way. I hear the Spirit of the Lord say that way is shifting. In the way that you have been teaching is shifting, amen, into another dimension of God. Hallelujah. Because while you have made yourself available to the anointing of God, the Bible said, amen, in Romans 6, 16, I believe it is, whoever you lend your members to to be servant of, that's who will be your master. And God said that you have led your members to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, and he is your master. And therefore, he is shifting you. He is elevating you. Yeah. Amen. Because you have been faithful in little things. You've been faithful in small things. And you've been very sensitive. Amen. To the move of God. And in your sensitivity, I am growing you, saith God. And as I'm growing you, I'm shifting you, saith the Lord. And as I'm shifting you, amen. Things that distracted you yesterday will not distract you today. Things that yesterday, amen, you didn't understand. You'll understand now because I'm shifting you. The direction of your teaching is going to take on another dimension. And people who you've been teaching are not going to see you the way they once saw you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They're not going to look at you the way they once looked at you. Amen. They're going to see you with another eye. Amen. They're going to see you in another, another, uh, another echelon of God. So you better get ready, my friend. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory. Glory. I'm going to say something that's going to sound really weird. But don't shut me off. Don't y'all shut me down. Come on. Come on. Man. You are pregnant. That's it. That's it. That's it. Glory to God. Yes. You're pregnant with a word. Yes. You're pregnant with something to say. Uh, and God said that with that pregnancy, he's stretching you. And he's enlarging your borders. And he's stretching out your territory. Because where you once might have been okay understanding this, but you didn't understand that. So we're not going to go on that because I don't understand that. But God said that he is stretching you because you're pregnant with a word from God. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory. 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 God said, get ready for some expansion, my friend. Hallelujah. Glory. Right, nobody 
you're any older than me. Oh, Mama's older than me. I think Mama's older than me. <laughs> <laughs> but um, in that three on the tree car I had, <laughs> we had a radio that you had to twist the knob to get. <laughs> and uh, sometimes it was pretty hard to get it on the station. Because it was like... <laughs> and you take that knob and you twist it just a hair to the left or to the right, hoping your station will come. Yeah. <laughs> and God said, that's what he's been doing to you. He's been fine-tuning you, amen, so your station in the Holy Ghost can come in. Oh, yeah. 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 Loud and clear. Yeah. And your sensitivity to the Spirit is literally going to set the uh, atmosphere oh, for what yeah. the Holy Ghost is going to do in that service. So when you get up, amen, to share your gift and your talent, amen, God said that you'll be sensitive to the Spirit of God because while you're sensitive to the Spirit of God, it's going to be Determine the direction of the way the Lord moves. Yes, Amen. yes, yes. Amen. Yes. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. And I'm going to tell you this. This is this is just something you need to know. A lot of people who are magicians, I mean musicians. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know how to follow the leading of the Lord. Right. right. And I'm going to tell you what happens. When God is flowing, am I talking too long? <coughs> uh -huh. no, no. When God is flowing in a vein, come on. You yes. know this. You know this. You recognize this. You exercise this. Come on. Yeah. And you'll be able to teach others yeah. about it. Because it is so critical, and then to get into the vein of what God wants to do in that service and stay there. That's it. Amen. That's it. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Because this is this is how I want to help you, my friend. You may have a thought that, well, I've sung this song four times already. I know the people are tired of hearing it. No. You're in the vein right. of what God is doing. Come on. And I want to challenge you. I don't know where you go to church. I don't know who's your, who's your, who's your, where your vineyard is. But I, 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 want, I want to share this with you. Because when you're called on to exercise your ministry or your gift, and the Holy Spirit breaks out. Come on. Do you understand yes. the Holy Spirit? And the anointing breaks out. That's yes. a vein that God is moving in. And when God gets into that venue... Don't change it. Right, right. Because if you change it, you can break or destroy the atmosphere yes. 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 of what God is doing. Saint till the cows come home, my brother. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Come yeah. on. Oh, yeah. no, wait. Back up the bus. Right. Saint till the sinners get saved. Yeah. Yeah. Side 
down. And they're not upside down in a bad kind of way, but they're going upside down in a good kind of way. Because what I'm seeing amen, is, 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 is this venue right here, but there's another venue up here. Amen. And so it's kind of like this. It's kind of teeter-totter. And that which is down here, amen, is going to be turned upside down down to get up to here. Does that make any sense to you? Amen. Because I want you to know something. God is fixing to do something and he's going to do something big. And it's closer than you think it is. You understand what I'm telling you? It's closer, it's closer than you think it is. It's closer than it's ever been. And God said set your sights a little bit higher because you are ooh, you're looking for some, some uh, money to come in and, 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 and God said he said, you're thinking too small. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's the God. Amen. Yeah. You think you're too small. Yeah. So he said, up it up a little bit. Oh. Amen. Yeah. Well, I'd be satisfied with $42 right now. If I had $42, I'd be satisfied right now. shuts off. But God said to tell you tonight, woman of God, that he's going to let you rest in peace. He's going to give you peace 
peaceful, peaceful sleep tonight. Yeah. And I want to encourage you to do something. Amen. I don't know where you're at in your walk with God, but if you're not where you should be or, or not right, you have not received Christ as your Savior, you need to find somebody that has and anoint that room where you sleep. Amen. Because I'm going to tell you something. There are some unclean things that have entered into that room. Amen. Maybe not by you, but they have entered in. And God said those things, those spiritual things, have interrupted your sleep. It's interrupted your rest. And the Lord said that when you go through that room and you anoint that room, you're going to literally drive out the works of hell. You're going to literally drive out. I'm not telling you this to fear. I'm telling you this so you can have victory. Do you understand yeah. that? I'm telling you this because I want you to have rest. I want you to have peace. And that has eluded you. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. God wants you to have peace that passes all understanding. Yes. Yeah. He wants you to rest. Rest. So in the morning when you get up, you don't feel like you're dragging. In the morning when you get up, so you don't feel like you can't hardly get one foot in front of the bed, the other one. Because mm -hmm. sometimes when you get up, when other people hitting the floor running, takes you a minute. Amen. God said to tell you tonight that can change. Yes. Amen. That can change. Where do you live? In this city? Mm -hmm. Y'all know her? No, I mean, she's in the fair, so I know she's somewhere. Are you spirit filled? No? It's okay, I'm not faulting you for that. You can be spirit-filled. But what I'm telling you tonight is if you don't feel like you have that kind of power with God, find somebody. Come on. Find somebody. This church is Come full on. of somebodies. Yeah. Find somebody that will go yeah. with you. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Because God wants this to turn around. Amen. Not just for you, but for His glory. Come on. Yeah. 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 Amen. Amen. For His Amen. glory. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. you don't have to spend another sleepless night. You don't have to spend another night with your with 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 your dreams being uh, not godly dreams. You don't have to spend another night like that. Right. You can spend a night with peace, and you can sleep all night through. Yes. Amen. Yes. Because that's the plan of God yes. for you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody raise your hands and give God glory. Glory to God. Glory to God. Come on, come on. Give me some radical praise. Glory. Hallelujah. We praise you, Lord. We praise your name. You're worthy of praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Oh, let the name of the Lord be praised. Let the name of the Lord be praised. Hallelujah. To my brother right here. Glory to God. Raise your hand so I know you know I'm talking to you. Glory to God. This is your wife? Yes. God said that when she was getting touched, you were getting touched as well because you're one. And when the Lord was speaking things to your wife, he was also speaking to you. Amen. And where... You have been fighting some heavy warfare. And where you have been having some, um, some, some, some um, things that have rose up that you and yourself were not quite sure how to handle. And it, 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 the situation, as the man of the house, uh, it, 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 it put a little bit of... Um, of uh, uh, um, guilt on you because you should be able to fix everything. And most of the time you are. But you have faced something that you can't fix. You face something that only the power of God yes. can yes. turn around. Yes. So when your wife was receiving her touch, you are also receiving your touch because I'm fixing to tell you something. Amen. This thing is going to turn around. Generational curses. Amen. Things that the enemy has used from generation to generation. Amen. Are stopping. Amen. At your word. Because God said you can't fix it, but he can. You know how to call on the one that can. And God said don't minimize who you are in him because you couldn't physically fix it. All he was doing is letting you know that
that he's still God and you're not. Hallelujah. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Oh. It's going to get fixed. Thank you. It's going to get fixed. I don't think you heard me. It's going to get fixed. Glory. 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 It's going to get fixed. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. 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 God's got it, my friends. God's got it. Wow. Wow. I can't. I, I, I got to land this plane here somewhere. Hallelujah. Wow. God is so good. Thank you, Lord. And I don't know if you're going to be here tomorrow night, but I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you nice. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> oh, praise the name of the Lord. Three months and eight days ago, you went through a moment that you thought you were going to crash. You went through a moment that you thought you were going to break down. You went through a moment that everything was radically in the wrong direction. I don't know nothing about you. I don't even know your name. I think somebody told me, but I forgot it. But you can go below, but I don't know where I get But God said, you didn't break down, you broke through. Come on. Because you determined in yourself that you are not going to take, you are not going to take the accusation of the enemy. Because what happened was Satan was trying to sabotage your victory. He's sitting in an imposter and he tried to sabotage your victory. But God turned it around because you dug in your heels and you said, I am not settling for this. Come I'm on. calling on the name of the Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And I ain't settling for this mess. Amen. I am breaking Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. God said you broke right out of that breakdown. Hallelujah. Be back here with you tomorrow night at 6.30 again tomorrow night, Pastor. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Have you enjoyed the Lord tonight? Amen. I mean, have you really enjoyed the Lord tonight? Come on. God's not going to leave you where you are, woman of God. Lord. Ooh, I'm going to touch her. Can I touch her? Come on. <laughs> Hallelujah. He's not going to leave you. In the disaster. Because you've got a vision to see this thing. You've got a vision to see some children saved. You've got a vision. Amen. Maybe you got some grandchildren. You've got a vision to see God move on their lives. You've got a vision to see your body healed. You've got a vision to see your money change. God said to tell you tonight, petition has been granted. praying for that's got a high call of God on his life. The enemy has set out to destroy him because if he can destroy him, he can destroy one more that's going to move, amen, in the direction of God. Uh, uh, a young man that has uh, 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 is anointed for ministry. Anointed for ministry. He's not only anointed to preach the word, but he's also anointed in uh, the apostolic. He's anointed in the prophetic. He's anointed in healing. He's anointed in music. And God said that the enemy has put every roadblock possible. But you ain't giving up. <laughs> That's why God said he's not going to leave you where you are. Because where you are in the natural... Looks like you know it's going to happen, but I don't know when it's going to happen. It could be 2020. It could be, I don't know. 
Somehow, I know the Lord's going to do it. I just don't know where he is. No, God said, look again. Amen. Because I believe that when Elisha looked again, he saw Elijah in his completed form. And God said, look again and see this thing as though it's already done, my yes. friend. Yes. Amen. Because that man is going to serve God with all of his heart. And let me tell you this, my, my friend. Amen. As hard as he has run from the call. Come on. Mm. Come God on. said he's going to take a turn and run to the car. Yes, yes, yes. Glory to God. I figured you did. Whoa. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Well, God's so good. God's praise, so good. Praise Amen. the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Before Pastor comes back to the microphone tonight, Amen. I feel like I would be. Uh, doing God an injustice if I didn't give you an opportunity to be sure Come on. of your relationship with God. You see, I come to you in the office of a prophet. Do you know what, Sister Eloise, if everybody got prophesied to and that one person went home, without receiving God. What good was the prophecy? What good would the word of knowledge be? If one person, one person left without their sins under the blood. When you lose sight of winning the loss, you've lost sight of your reason. Of your purpose. Jesus told the disciples to go forward. Go into the highways and the edges. Compel them. Invite them. Urge them. If you're here tonight, and you came in not knowing where you stand with God, you can leave in right standing with God. Righteous means right in standing. Is that what I mean? Yes. In right standing with oh, God. Yes, yes. If you're here tonight, I wouldn't wait for somebody else to move. They may never move. Right, right. That's right. right. I wouldn't wait for everybody to close their eyes. Come on. Oh, thank you, Jesus. If you're ashamed of him, he'll be ashamed of you. Thank you, Jesus. I get up out of where I'm sitting, I would run to this altar, I crawl to this altar, I come barefooted, I would drag myself on my elbows if I had to. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. To get up here. Thank Amen. You, Lord. And confess Christ as my Savior. You Thank know who you are. Thank you know, sometimes, I don't know if you remember this, Pastor, but, but back in the day when I was growing up in the, in the United Pentecostal Church, we, we, we used to get the spirit all over us, and, and we'd go back in the back, and we'd drag people up to the front. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I've done it. I've done it. And it didn't work. It didn't last. That's it. That's it. Because the next week, you got to drag them same people back. Right. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. It was my vision, not theirs. Right. It was my conviction for them. Right. Yeah. Right. But I'm telling you tonight, if the Spirit has been tugging oh, at your heart, oh, if the Spirit has been speaking to you, you're the one I'm here for. Have your way, Lord. Have your the Spirit has, has, has been uh, Holy Ghost. nudging you. Holy Ghost. You're the one. And if there's only one. It's worth every bit of the 800 miles I drove to be here. It's just fun. Come on. And let me tell you something. Jesus went a whole lot farther than 800 miles. My God. Thank you, Lord. My God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Gave up a, a, a whole lot more than I've ever given. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Lord. It's a one here tonight. A real man, a real woman, wouldn't be ashamed. A real man or a real woman would say, it's me. It's me. I want to get right. I want to be sure. I want to know that I know that I know. Amen. 
Maybe your mom and dad have been serving God all their lives. Maybe they baptized you when you were six weeks old or however they sprinkled you or dumped you or whatever they did. Amen. But that was then and this is now. Who is it? Who is it tonight that God's speaking to? Who is it? Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Don't embarrass God. He's tugging on your heart. He's tugging on your heart tonight. Is there someone here? Is there someone here? They're going to say, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Nobody's going to laugh. Nobody's going to make fun of you. We're going to pray with you. We're going to pray for you. Is there one? Is there one here tonight?
do you want? My heart wanted to go. Nikki, you know my heart wanted to go. Man, my flesh wanted to go. I was packed. I was packed. I wanted to go. I love Belize. Yeah. I love the people there. But I didn't have the peace about going. And I said, God, where do you want me to be that I can be the most beneficial to the kingdom of God? Yes. Pastor Dan called me and he said, I was wondering if you'd want to come in a couple days early. <laughs> and come by Yazoo City before you go to Delta City. <coughs> and I said, yes, sir. Yeah. Right then I called the rest of my team and I said, I'm not going to Belize. Y'all go without me. Amen. Because I want to be where I can be used. Yes. Yes. By God. Yes. Amen. 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 Amen.